Дела старые Украины, я коне был минувалыш, только думы, а вспомни, а песни здесь отлыш. It happened late Friday night. We lived in Pripyat, near the reactor. I can still see the bright crimson glow off the fire. It was like the reactor was glowing. This wasn't any ordinary fire. It was some kind of emanation. It was pretty. I had never seen anything like it in the movies. That evening, everyone spilled out onto their balconies. We were on the ninth floor and had a great view. People brought their kids out, picked them up and said, look, remember. And these were people who worked at the reactor. Engineers, workers, physics instructors. My throat tickled and my eyes watered. They stood in the black dust, talking, breathing, wondering at it. We didn't know that death could be so beautiful. I didn't sleep all night, and I heard the neighbors walking around upstairs, also not sleeping. In the morning I woke up and looked around, and I remember feeling something isn't right. Something had changed forever. At eight that morning, there were already military personnel on the streets in gas masks. All day on the radio, they were telling us to prepare for an evacuation. They'd take us away for three days, wash everything, check things out, and let us return. From the very first moments leaving Pripyat, I felt that we were Chernobylites that we were already a separate people. Our bus stopped overnight in a village. There was nowhere to go and one woman invited us to sleep at her house, but her friends started dragging her away from us. Are you crazy? They're contaminated. When we settled in Kiev and our son started school, he came back the very first day in tears. He was the only one from Chernobyl in the class and the other kids were afraid of him. They called him radioactive. His childhood ended so early. In Kiev, they gave us some money, but we couldn't buy anything. Hundreds of thousands of people had been uprooted, and they'd already bought everything up. My mother had lived a long time and had lost everything like this more than once. Now she said, we have to get through it. After all, we're alive. I often dream that I'm riding through sunny Pripyat with my son. It's a ghost town now, but we're riding through and looking at the roses. There were so many roses in Pripyat. I was young, my son was little, and in the dream, I've forgotten all the fears, as if I were just a spectator the whole time. Thank you.